okay dear students let us see how to do this question now a neutron is absorbed by nucleus of uranium 235 one possible outcome is the production of two nucleides that is barium and krypton how many neutrons are released in this reaction so this is a, a question related to the nuclei's now what happens is they are talking about a nuclear reaction so there is uranium that is 235 and atomic number 92 it is given one nitrogen and so what we have here is uh, barium 144 56 is atomic number and krypton that is 89 is mass number and 36 is the atomic number plus there are a couple of uh, nitrogens but we don't know how many and there will be other energies and all that okay so energy will be there now the question is how many neutrons are released in this reaction so my dear students just like chemical um, reactions which involve the atoms instead of nuclei uh, here also the sum of the atomic mass number is the same on both sides and some of the at atomic uh, number and some of the atomic mass numbers is also same on the both sides that is the only principle that we are going to use here and this principle is known as a sodi fazan rule it's known as sodi fazan rule i believe the spellings are right <laughs> okay you can search for search for it on google then otherwise fine so uh, what it's a very simple concept here like for example let us concentrate on atomic numbers like 92 and uh, 0 so the summation here is 92 plus 0 and it should come out to be equal to 56 plus 36 plus 0 from atomic from this so 56 plus 36 and there we go 92 is equal to 92 so this rule is not violated here now as per the atomic mass number is concerned now 235 plus 1 because one electron has been added so 35 plus 1 will be equal to 144 plus 89 plus x number of neutrons so you can just call it x from there we are now going to find what is the value of x so it will be 235 plus 1 minus 144 minus 89 and our answer is 3 so this means x is equal to 3 so your answer will be d that there will be three neutrons that we would be getting out of this chemical this nuclear reaction so my dear students this is professor varun if there is any further doubt in this topic you can mention that in comment section all the best